Hi students. So today we are going to study a very important chapter called rational and irrational numbers. Uh, this is the very first chapter of class nine because it has its importance in all other chapters. So let me start by telling you what is a rational number. Till now, we have studied what is a natural number, which is one, two, three, and so and so forth. We have studied whole number where zero gets included and all the natural numbers. So these are whole numbers. Integers, which are all negative and positive numbers, minus five, minus four, zero, one, two, everything is integers from all negative numbers to all positive numbers, including zero is integers. And now rational number, let me tell you if a number can be written in the form of P upon Q, which means three upon four is a rational number, seven upon eight, minus six upon nine. All right, all these numbers are rational numbers. So if a number can be written in the form of P upon Q, then it is a rational number. So tell me is two a rational number? I mean, you will say that it is not in the form of P upon Q, but I can always write it as two upon one which is P upon Q minus three divided by one. So minus three, which is an integer divided by one, we can write it in P upon Q and hence it is a rational number. Now let's see uh, how many types of rational numbers are there. So one rational number, if I give you an example of say three upon four, that is, 0.75, right? Now look at the decimals. This is a terminating decimal. Why it is called terminating decimal? Because it has got fully divisible and there is nothing else to write here. So this is a terminating decimals. So all the fraction with the terminating decimal, like for example, one upon four, can be written as 0 0.25. Again, a terminating decimal. These are called rational numbers. Another, see this example of 1 by 3. Now, if I start dividing, you will see that it is 0 0.33333. 3, 3, 3, 3. I'll keep dividing and I'll keep writing. It will never terminate. This is another kind of a fraction where the answer in the decimal form is not terminating. Such non-terminating recurring numbers that the number should be same are called rational numbers. Now, let me tell you that there will be few numbers where it is non-terminating, for example, it can be 437, 621, 398. It is continuing, not terminating, not recurring. These numbers are called irrational numbers. I hope you have understood the difference between rational and irrational. I'll repeat. What are irrational numbers? Irrational numbers are those where when we divide one, uh, the answer is not terminating like this, but also they are not recurring like this. Also, let me tell you here that if the answer is 0 0.45 and then it is recurring, without terminating, this is also a rational number. So the condition for irrational number is that it should be non-terminating and also not recurring. Now, let me give you some examples of 
irrational number. Right? So uh, we have studied about pi, you know, in the last class we have studied about pi while calculating the circumference we had two pi r, right? Area was pi r square. So this pi we used to study as 22 upon seven, right? But actually this is not the real value of pi. The real value of pi is 3.1418 and you know, you just keep on going on and on, whatever it is, you know, this goes in thousands, you know, millions, it will never end. So it is non-terminating, non-recurring. So pi is a irrational number, right? Interesting, pi is an irrational number. Now all the square roots, square root of two, square root of three, square root of five, square root of six are irrational numbers. This is written as 1.414 and it continues without terminating, without recurring, right? Similarly, root three, 1.732 is what I remember, but it continues without recurring, without terminating. So all the square roots, you know, will be irrational number. But remember when you, I missed writing root four, so when square root of four, you will write, you know, this is plus minus two. What is the square root of four? Two also and minus two also. And you know that both these numbers are rational numbers. So root 16, again, a square root of 16, this can be written as plus minus four. So this is also a rational number, but other than these uh, uh, square roots, every other square root is an irrational number. Now, let me quickly wind up by telling you that if root two is a irrational number, so even if I multiply with some number, which is a rational number, it is still an irrational number. Even if I multiply an uh, irrational number uh, or say add a rational number, not multiply, but say add a rational number, this is also an irrational number. If I subtract any number, which is a hmm, natural number, it is still an irrational number, right? So whether you multiply any rational number, it is still irrational. Whether you add and subtract any rational number, it is still an irrational number. I hope I have been able to make you understand what are rational numbers and what are irrational numbers. In the next video, we are going to find out how to convert an irrational number into a rational number. Very, very interesting, very important, you know, to understand this. I hope you like the video. See you in the next one.